Hey guys, it's Andrew from CMO Apps and in this tutorial I'm going to set up React Native and set up a basic application and show you how to play around with the code. So first of all, what is React Native? It's a way to use JavaScript on one code base that can essentially run the, at the same speed on Android and iOS. It makes maintaining an app across both platforms quite easy and you can easily transfer any HTML, CSS and JavaScript knowledge over when developing these apps. So that's the advantage of it. It's a framework made by Facebook. So I'm going to run through how to set up React Native, common issues you'll run into when setting it up on a Mac and how to fix them and get that resolved. And finally, we'll actually run a React Native app I'll show you how to play around with the boilerplate code that's in the setup, how you can make a few changes to get a feel for it and to actually use it. So let's get into it. So let's get into setting up React Native on our computer and create our first Hello World project. So what you want to do is go to the Getting Started React Native page and that will have instructions on how you get it set up. Now it's going to assume you have Node.js installed. So if you don't, head over to the nodejs.org website, download this LTS damage file, and then run through and install it. And once you've got that set up, go back over to the React Native getting started. And what you want to do is you need to open up the terminal and paste this command in, which is npm install dash g space create dash react dash native dash app. Press enter, and what this is going to do is it's going to install React Native. Now, you might get this error, and if you do, what you need to do is prefix it with sudo to run that command with elevator rights. So sudo space npm, put in the password for your computer. Hopefully, I can remember it. Yep, and now it's going to run through and install React Native. This might take up to five minutes, so just let that go through the installation steps. Okay, now that's set up, we can actually create our React Native project. So I've got mine here in this YouTube tutorials folder. You can put yours wherever you want it. I'm going to do MKDIR to do React project. And then I'm going to go CD React Project to change to this folder. And then to create a new project, I'll copy this command here. Press Enter. So when we run the command create-react-native-app and awesome project, the first time it runs, it's going to install a bunch of React components for you. So just sit back and let that run through. Okay, now our project is set up. So to get to it, we want to do CD awesome project to change to that directory and type npm start, start your project. Now what you might do is you might actually get this error when you try to start your project here. And you, what we want to do is sudo npm start if we get this error first of all with your password. And then if you still get this error, which you most likely will, especially if you're using a Mac, what you need to do is install something called Watchman. So there's a known issue about this React start native script here. And this is on GitHub. And to solve that, we need to use something called Homebrews. So if you don't have it, in the description below, go to the link brew.sh, copy this command into terminal to install Homebrews. And that will run a script which will install Homebrew, which allows you to install new packages onto your Mac. And once you've done that, there's another page here for Watchmen. And what you need to do is if you scroll down, we've got installing on OS X, we're using via homebrew. So we want to use the brew install watchman to 
to install that package on our Mac. You can also use Mac ports if you have that package manager on your Mac and Windows instructions are above, but you shouldn't get this error on Windows. Okay, now that we have installed Watchman, we can run our project with sudo npm start. And what's going to happen when that runs, you'll see a giant QR code in your terminal. So what you can do, you can install an Expo app on your iPhone. And if your phone and the laptop is on the same network, you can actually scan that QR code to run the app on your phone. Otherwise, you can run it on a simulator on your computer. Okay, so it's going to take a while for Expo to build the app the first time around it. But when you do, you'll see the React Native default app here on your phone. Okay, so now that the app's running, if you have Xcode or Android Studio installed, you can press A to run it on an Android device or emulator, or I to run it on an iOS emulator. I'm just going to keep on running it on my phone for this tutorial and just show you my phone on the screen. So we can see here now, this is the default screen for our app and the instructions tell us to open up app.js to keep on working on it. So if we go to our finder, you'll notice this is our YouTube tutorials folder here. Then we created the directory react project. Then we created a project called awesome project. And there's a file here called app.js. So if we open it with our code editor, so now we have app.js open in our favorite text editor. So if we add a new text and go hello Simu and end that, then save the file. What we'll notice is our phone refreshes and will reload the whole app for us. And on this page, we can see that hello Simu is actually on the screen now. So as you're coding and saving it, you can see updates real time on your iPhone simulator, Android emulator, or your actual Android or iPhone device. So now I'm going to quickly show you how to add an image, which is from the React Native website. So under render, I'm gonna paste this let's pick equals a URI, which is a Wikipedia URL of bananas. And then we're going to add in this code here which is image source equals pick style equals, we're gonna do two curly brackets width, we'll do 193 and height followed by 100. Then at the end of the image, do a forward slash and right arrow to close it off and save that. And they, this is going to reload the code on our app and we'll notice it's actually failed. So there's something wrong with our code here. Okay, so what's wrong with our app is we're trying to use this image component. However, up the top, we've only imported style sheet, text and view. So if we add image, save the file, our app will reload. And just quickly also, you'll want to put the image source inside the view for it to load correctly. And now we can see on our screen, we have some text. We have the image on our screen. So that's how you create your first React app and get React set up. My environment is using a Mac. And you'll notice there are some issues which I covered how to fix them, which you'll probably run into also if you're using a Mac.